How to stake your coins on Binance. Binance has three different flavors of staking and that's staking, DeFi staking, and ETH 2.0 staking. We're gonna get into all of that. And you want to stake your coins because you earn more coins. You get these rewards for helping process transactions on the network. And Binance helps facilitate that by allowing you to stake your coins on their platform. And we're gonna get into more details on that. So if you can help me out now by hitting that like button, I would appreciate it. And if you don't already have the Binance app, you can download it with a link in the description because we're gonna be using the Binance app to stake coins on Binance. So uh, let's get started. Let's stake our coins on Binance. So here we are at the home screen, select more, scroll down to finance and select staking. This is staking and DeFi staking. Right now, let's focus on staking. Let me show you what you're looking at here. This is the coin, the interest rate, the minimum amount you need, and then the lockup time. So it's gonna be 30, 60, or 90 days in most cases. As you can see, the interest rate will vary between 30, 60, or 90 days depending on the coin. And in some cases, the coin subscription may be sold out. So if you want to subscribe to the GRT 90 day plan, it's not available and it might be in the future. It just depends on how many users are signing up to stake on Binance. So. Get started before everyone else does. Not financial advice, but this is just a tool for you to earn more cryptocurrency with your current cryptocurrency. If you want to find what coins are available generally, just hit search and then you'll get a list in alphabetical order. If you want to stake that coin through Binance, you're gonna to need to have that coin in your spot account. So you actually have to be holding that coin to start staking it. Right now I have some near in my account, so we're gonna stake that for this example. Let's scroll down to near. And then we can see the interest rates. We have 90 and 60 days, those are sold out, but the 30 day plan is available. So I'm gonna select stake now, and then it shows us the 30, 60, 90 days again, and how the product is sold out. So we're gonna to stick to 30 days. Then we can select the amount of the coin we want to stake, and the minimum here is one, and the maximum is 10,000. So right now, just gonna stake one coin, and then we scroll down to the summary and it shows us the stake date, value date, and redemption date. There is a rolling time period of what constitutes a day when staking. So you can see here that it would start tomorrow for me at 8 a.m. and then the redemption date would be available 6 p.m. a month from now. So the contract is a little more than 30 days and if you want that full interest, your coins have to be locked up for that entire 30 days. If you want to get out early, that is possible, but it does take a few days for your coins to be unstaked, so be aware of that. Your funds won't be immediately available if you decide to unstake right away, and we'll get into that. So we are gonna stake one near for now. I have read and agreed to the Binance service agreement. You should read that, hit confirm, and now that coin has been locked in the staking. So now we are earning interest, but we will only earn that interest if our coins stay for that full amount of time. Once again, the typical plans are 30, 60, or 90 days. If I sign up for a 30-day plan, my coins have to be there for the full 30 days for me to earn interest. I can withdraw my coins early. It will still take about two days to get them back, but I won't earn any interest. So if I want to sign up for the 30-day plan and I stay for one day, 10 days, 29 days, and then try to withdraw my coins early, I will be able to get my coins back, but I won't earn any interest. That interest will be forfeited. And I will show you that now by withdrawing the near we just deposited. From the home screen, select wallet, go to earn, scroll down, and then we can see here near locked staking. Select that and then hit redeem. And then it also warns us redeeming in advance will result in a loss of interest that you have earned. So if I'm okay with that, I can still redeem it. And then I hit confirm. And now my near redemption has been confirmed. So we have to select our view history to see when it will be unlocked. And then you can see here, the coin is being redeemed. Today is the 22nd of July at 1.25 p.m. And the coins will be unlocked on the 24th at 6 p.m. So when your coins get redeemed through Binance, there is a set time and expect that to be a little less than three days. Now I am staking some other coins here, MDX and KSM, and you can see what's happening with that. For MDX, I have been staking for 19 days and the interest I've earned 
that's 0.66. And if I want to look at more details, we look at my wallet in Binance Earn, and at the top right here, there is a history button, and then we select the drop down, go to locked staking, and then select interest at the top right. And then it shows us the daily interest we've been earning through locked staking. Now this hasn't been redeemed yet. I have this interest earned, but it hasn't been brought into my account until I complete that locked period of time of 30 days in this situation, sometimes 60 or 90. Staking versus DeFi staking. With staking, you are staking your coin with a specific coin, and then you get those staking rewards. So that's how you get your passive income. Now with DeFi staking, decentralized finance, you are sending your coins to a DeFi mining project. And then that's where the risk is. Because if your funds are lost through this DeFi mining project, <laughs> Binance isn't going to be responsible for any lost funds, and that's why we see a risk warning there. So you have to be careful and understand that risk. Binance does its absolute best to vet these projects and make sure it's safe for Binance customers, but there's no guarantee in the future that an exploit may happen within the smart contracts. Binance can't make that guarantee, which is why we see this risk warning. And now let's do some DeFi staking. So from the home screen, select more, scroll down to finance and select staking. At the top right, DeFi staking. That is the risk warning I was just talking about. And it takes up a lot of the screen. We, we already went over that. I'm going to minimize that. And now you can see what coins are being offered, the interest rates, and the protocol. So you can see there's Venus, Binance Smart Chain, Hard, Maker, and that's it. This is in search coin, so you can just see the list in alphabetical order and you can see everything very easily. So if you have some BUSD you want to stake, you can stake it for a flexible interest rate of 4.49% through Venus. Let's stake some BUSD. I'm going to hit stake now and we can see that it is a flexible amount and the minimum to participate is very, very low. It is 0.0001 BUSD, so less than one penny. And the maximum amount is 40,000 BUSD. So for this example, let's just put in one BUSD. And then we can take a look at the summary. Interest is earned daily. The redemption period will be one day and the estimated APY will be 4.49%. I have read and agreed to the Binance service agreement. Hit confirm. And now my 1BUSD is in the DeFi staking. So let's check it out in our wallet. But let me show you from the home screen so you know how to get there. Select wallet, scroll to the right and select earn. And then you should see DeFi staking. We select that, select redeem. And now we can redeem our funds. So we can redeem some of it or all of it. Let's say I wanna redeem 0.1 BUSD. I can do that. And the redemption will be available a day and a half from now. So the redemptions will happen 6 p.m. daily and it takes a little less than three days to get that back. Just be aware, since you are on DeFi staking, these coins are being sent somewhere and then they have to get sent back to your wallet. So I am going to confirm and my redemption has been confirmed. We can view my history and see what's being redeemed. We can see that I have 0.1 BUSD uh, redeeming and I will receive that on the 24th at 6 p.m. And if I want to see the interest I'm earning, we're going to start again from the home screen. We're going to select wallet, scroll over to the right, select earn. And then at the top right, we can see our history. And then the drop down here, select DeFi staking, high risk products, of course, just remember high risk and select interest. And this will show the interest we're getting from DeFi staking. Now I do have some BNB being staked on Binance Smart Chain. So these are the interest rewards I've been getting daily. Now that you got a primer on staking and DeFi staking, let's do some ETH 2.0 staking. So right now, Ethereum is on a proof of work system and they're transferring over to proof of stake. So you won't need any mining hardware to earn Ethereum. Now to earn more Ethereum, you just have to have Ethereum. You just have to have that stake. And with Binance, you can stake ETH 2.0 right now. So from the home screen, select more, scroll down to finance and select ETH 2.0. So I've been staking some ETH 2.0 with Binance and you can see how much I've earned in total and how much I've earned yesterday. So with Binance, you will be earning interest daily on ETH 2.0 
And right now the interest rate is 6.19%. As more people stake their ETH, that amount is going to drop. If less people stake their ETH, that interest rate is going to go up. So let's stake some Ethereum. So when I stake my Ethereum, it's going to transfer my ETH to BETH. That's B ETH, Beth, or however you want to see it. It stands for Beacon Ethereum, and that's going to represent your Ethereum 2.0 stake. So you will be trading ETH for BETH. And I can do that now. If I have any Ethereum, I can convert that to BETH but I can't convert it back. So that is not an option. Uh, you can see the risks here. I'm gonna read this for you. Your staked ETH must be locked during the first phase of the ETH 2.0 upgrade. During this lockup period, your staked ETH cannot be redeemed. That's right, it's going to be BETH. And if you wanna convert your BETH back to ETH, you can do that by trading on Binance since BETH is a tokenized asset. We'll get into that right after this. Number two, you will be able to redeem your staked ETH when the first phase of the ETH 2.0 is completed, which can take up to 24 months. So there is a time period, but once again, there is a way around that. BETH is a tokenized asset representing your staked ETH on a one-to-one -one basis. Binance distributes your BETH to your spot account. And lastly, you can swap your BETH tokens back to ETH after the completion of the first phase. Please note that you will receive ETH equal to your BETH holdings at the time of the swap. So even though you're converting your ETH to BETH now, when the upgrade is completed, the BETH will be converted back to regular ETH at a one-to-one -one ratio. And if you convert to BETH now, you will be earning daily rewards on your BETH your ethereum and uh yeah you get a little yield on that so i am going to do a conversion i already have some in here but let's do 0. 0.0001 the bare minimum select confirm i understand we went over this and my eth is now beeth beacon ethereum so we go to our spot wallet and we can see that there is beeth in my account that's more than what we converted but i already had some there and we can trade it so you can see go to trade beeth to eth so if you did want to trade your beeth back into eth you can do that by trading in this trading pair but you won't get that one-to-one -one ratio so be aware of that now let's see our beeth earnings we can do that select wallets go to earn select the top right for history, select that drop down, and then we can see fixed terms, ETH 2.0 staking. Now we can see the ETH I just staked at 0 0.0001, but if you do hold any B ETH in your spot wallet, you still will get that daily yield. So if you look at distribution, you can see that I've been earning B ETH from B ETH tokens that I've been holding in my spot wallet for the past several weeks. So that's how you see your rewards. And just to show you, I'm in my spot wallet and I have BETH just sitting here and I've been earning rewards on that. So you don't necessarily have to keep it in the earn section. I know there's multiple wallets, it might be confusing, but as long as you have BETH in your spot wallet, you will be earning rewards daily. And that's how you stake on Binance. If you can help me out right now by hitting the video with a like, or if you don't have the Binance app, you can download it with a link in the description. And this has been a Binance video.